Hey everybody, this is PJ Riley from Lancaster Archery in our shooting center today. We wanted to tell you about some brand new target bows from the folks at PSE for 2024. We have the PSE Supra X. So the PSE Supra, that is a bow that has been around for years. This is the 10th version of the Supra. That's how much PSE believes in it. And this one is the Supra X. Great new target bow from the folks at PSE for 2024. And we're gonna give you the full breakdown on the PSE Super X. All right, so there's two versions of the Super X. There's the Super X 40, which I'm holding right here. And there's the Super X 37. That, of course, refers to the axle to axle length. You're just going to pick the one that works best for you. Um, but you can see here with the 40, just a massive riser here. And something that PSE likes to do is, you know, they're very much in favor of the deflex riser. Deflex brings the handle out away from the string reflex goes back towards the string but you can see that handle position here i mean it's basically the front of the grip is even with the limb tips maybe even a little bit in front of it um, and uh, that just helps with stability at full draw um, these things are really comfortable when you come to full draw of course they've got those vertical limbs um, PSE is one of the companies that likes those vertical limbs. Uh, when you release the string, this bow goes forward. That's really nice. Um, sometimes when you have more parallel limbs, the bow doesn't really react in one specific way, but when they're vertical, that bow goes forward towards the target. Um, with the Super X bows, we are gonna have three cam options. I have the EM2 on this bow right here. You're also gonna have the M2 and the SE2. And these cams, what they're gonna give you option-wise is different draw lengths. So each of them has a rotating mod. So you're gonna be able to adjust the draw length on the cam itself just by rotating the mod. What it's gonna do for the 40 is it's gonna give you a total draw length adjustment across all three cams from 24 inches all the way up to 33 and a half inches. So the Super X is gonna be a great bow for those guys who have big, long draw lengths. That's, you know, extra large draw lengths. 32, 33 inches, Super X is gonna be a cam option for you. On the 37, you're gonna have a total draw length range across all three cams from 23 inches up to 32 inches. So even that one gets out there to some of those longer draw lengths. Um, but the cams here, so I have the EM2 right here. And for this one, the cams are gonna give you some different options for let off as well. The EM2, this one is gonna be fixed at 75%. The other two cams, you'll be able to adjust between 65, 70, and 75%. There'll be three positions on the uh, end of the module there that you'll be able to move to affect that um, let off percentage. But again, EM2 here, this one is fixed at 75%. All of the Super X cams are gonna come with that new PSE Easy 220 spacer system. So that is these little devices right here. They are spacers. Uh, between the cam and the axle. They're gonna be different thicknesses. There's gonna be several different sets of them. What they do is they call it the Easy 220 because a match, a properly matched set will add up to 0 0.220 inches. You know, and there'll be different thicknesses, but together the two correct spacers will equal 0 0.220 inches. And what's unique about them is they are snap-on as opposed to wrap-around. So in other words, you don't have to take the axle completely out to uh, move these spacers. This is going to be in your tuning, of course. You want to adjust that cam left and right. You're going to change the spacers to do that. And you are going to have to press the bow 
However, once you press the bow, these spacers will come off nice and easy. Uh, and of course, when you're pressing the bow, you're taking the pressure off the axle. That allows you to slide that cam left and right. The EZ220, that's just a great system PSE has for when you're tuning your bow, setting up your arrows. Now, we are seeing a lot of features that PSE has had the last couple of years. Right here, we have the Precision Bus Tuning System. So, and what this is, is this is all one cable. This is not a floating yoke. This is a fixed yoke. So the uh, cable comes up here, they split the bundle, and then it weaves around this yoke here and comes up to the cam. So you are able to do some fine tuning with cam lean by twisting. Uh, it's not much, but you can do a little. If you got a little paper tear, you know, you might want to add a twist to one side, take a twist out the other side. Um, but what that does is by having that yoke on both sides of the cam here, that really helps with that load on the axle and keeps that cam mostly upright. You know, as I said, you can affect cam lean. We're not talking about much here. These cams don't really lean a lot. We're talking minute little adjustments that you're gonna make with the precision bus tuning system. But it's mainly for that stability there, uh, keeping these cams upright and leveling that pressure on the axle. All right, coming down the bow, we do have here the pinned uh, cable arm here. So you can see no more dog leg. In the past, these cable arms had a dog leg that allowed you to do some tuning. You'd adjust that cable arm up or down to change the pressure on your cables here, which affected the cam. Uh, but what PSE has found is you know, one of the downsides of that is if anything comes loose, that cable arm can move. And because it had that dog leg, it can drastically change. Uh, even if it's just making little movements over time, that's a bad thing. You may not notice it until it's too late. So PSE found, hey, let's just make this cable arm solid pinned in two places there, and we will put it in the right place so that you don't have to you know, move that cable arm up and down. It's holding the cables where they need to be to get that proper load on the cams. You don't need to change that. So that's a feature. And of course, it is stainless steel here. So this thing is super strong. Now coming in to the rest area, PSE has gives you multiple options. You can see I do have a bolt-on rest here. You can do that. There are two holes. So if you have room in the arm here to get two bolts in there, you can certainly do that. And then that's gonna, your rest just isn't gonna move. But then also you will see the dovetail cuts in here if you wanna mount an integrate style rest. Those are becoming super popular uh, just because of how tight they connect to the riser here and how there's not extra pieces on the outside. It kind of reduces some of the weight. Um, lots of great reasons why you would want to have an integrate style rest there. You have that option and you will have a third option for the rest here, which is um, those rests that connect on the back here like an integrate, but they do not adhere to that dovetail system. Currently, Hamsky is the only one that makes a rest like I'm describing. And there are two holes uh, drilled directly into the dovetail here. That's where you're gonna put the special Hamsky mount and then the rest is gonna mount onto that. Um, so just, you have all the options. Basically any rest that's on the market, you can mount it to this bow here. So just great to be able to know that whatever rest you wanna put on this bow, you can. Now here's a new feature PSE came out with this year. You can see I have this grip. So with this bow, you are gonna get a total of three of these inserts here. You can see where that breaks uh, and there are three different thicknesses so three different angles of this grip here this is the highest grip this is going to give you the highest wrist position 
uh, and then the, the other two are smaller than that. Um, so you can fine tune this grip to get it how you want it to feel. So that's a great, it comes with the bow. So you just have to, you can play with all three options, see what works best for you. So you can see I have a V-bar mount on the front here. You do have your front sta standard stabilizer bushing directly under the grip. On the back, if you wanna run your side rods from the back, you have two options, one up high and one down low, however you wanna uh, deal with that weight. All right, so those are the features for the PSE Super X. You got the 40 and you got the 37. As you can see, I have the 40 all set up here. I've been shooting it for a while. And what I'll say is, so this deflex handle that PSE here has here, for some reason that's a handle that just agrees with me. Um, I'm just able to, when I set up these bows, I'm able to shoot them really well. It's comfortable, the draw cycle of the EM2 cam, that's what I have here. The draw cycle is comfortable, that fixed 75% let off is a comfortable 75%, uh, you know, it's not one of the ones that wants to pull you forward. I can get relaxed when I'm back at full draw. I don't have to worry about if I creep a little bit that, you know, I'm gonna collapse forward. It stays nice and tight against that back wall. It is, you know, a cable stop is what they have when the mod, or the cam rotates around, it's gonna connect to the cable. It's not squishy, but there is a little bit of give. It's a very firm back wall, but I shoot a hinge, so I like to pull after I come to full draw. And just being able to work through it with that cable stop there is nice. Just a little bit of give, but I would not call it squishy. Uh, and you know, with that handle position, down low you've got a ton of riser up above that. It balances really well at full draw. The bow wants to stay vertical. I'm able to come back um, at the back wall, you know, and lean back into the shot, pull back, push forward as I'm activating the shot and everything stays level. It's not a bow that reacts when you're pulling through your shot at the back wall. Yeah, so the Super X, I mean, that is a platform that PSE, it has won a ton of titles for PSE. So that's why they'd like to modify it uh, through the years because it's a good one. It's a winner, it's been proven on the podium. Super X, I'm sure we're gonna see that one on a lot of podiums this year. If you wanna see the Super X on our website, be sure to click the link in the description below. You can see all the colors, cam options, all the options for the Super X. You can check that out in the link in the description below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like it, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to click that bell to get notifications whenever we put out new videos. As always, if you have any questions, you can visit us at LancasterArchery.com.